Hello friends, and Intergalactic Wiccan. Well, some of you may be wondering what happened to the Lunt Telescope, the Solar Observing Telescope. Well, as you know, it duly arrived, and uh, I've managed to have a play. Um, initial results, very impressive, but I ran into a few problems with cameras. Um, there's not a lot of back focus on a Lunt, which basically means, without going through a lot of Oops, it's very difficult to get an image focused on camera. So, having read lots of forums, I went down the route of getting a dedicated astronomical camera, uh, black and white only, uh, an ASI 120mm uh, USB, and uh, I've been playing with that. Initially, things seemed to be going very well. And then it turned out there was a problem with how the files were being uh, saved, as in a five minute file of the sun was lasting about five seconds when played and would only work on a specific player and couldn't be converted from the AVI file to an MP4 file for transfer. So there was a lot of head scratching with that. Uh, as you see here, uh, lots of images floating by, which is where I was uh, showing uh, a close friend what was happening by sending them recordings from my phone. So at that juncture, that's all I had that I could use. Um, managed to get one file to work, but I had to use screen record to record it on the screen so that I could then transfer it as a MP4. And so it went on. So it took me about a day going through various configurations of software available, uh, trying to get drivers to work and not having much success or partial success, uh, ranging from recording correctly. If I was asking for a 30 second record, it would record 30, it would record 30 seconds worth. But when I played it back, the image was black and this was in daylight and the lens cap was off before you ask so a lot of head scratching uh, in the end i tried one i hadn't used before it didn't initially work i was using a second laptop but it's more of a notebook and not particularly powerful and that might well be that may well be why it struggled uh, while i was using that one I had my main laptop, I was updating the um, OS, Linux OS, to the latest 18.4. And lo and behold, with the software I was currently trying, and then plugging the camera in, I suddenly had images. And these are the day's sun viewings, as you see them appearing on the screen now. Unfortunately, Towards the end, where I adjusted the pressure tuner so that I could see the surface of the sun rather than the limbs where we look for prominences or prominences and filaments, um, the battery went flat. So I didn't get that image, but I can assure you the surface of the sun looked magnificent. And I will do another video with more pictures as I learn to uh, tweak the system for optimum uh, visuals. Uh, and also the next set of hoops are to magnify the image by putting a barlow in the uh, optical train. Again, this is not straightforward. And I have seen some solutions which involve the end of a hoover pipe to get the distance needed for the uh, focusing to work on a barlow to then magnify the image at the sensor. So I will be looking at that in due course. All good fun, and I'm pretty pleased with the results so far. And I think it's safe to say that, well, there is no sun simulator, because I was pretty damn sure that was the sun I was looking at, particularly when I was looking at the surface of the sun. Uh, please remember, those who don't know, that this is a hydrogen alpha scope. And it sees in the hydrogen wavelength. The sun is a great big ball of hydrogen. And uh, so we see the details 
of the sun. Also, the fact that the sun crosses at 15 degrees per hour because of Earth's rotation uh, is also a bit of a giveaway. Anything closer, like a sun simulator, would appear to move too quickly. And again, you also have the problem of something that close to Earth would change size as it came towards you and get smaller as it went away. And that, as I showed last year by some uh, time-lapse photography, doesn't happen. So, Matt Rogers, Nigel's view on things, comments in the box below, Jeff P, Scott, still looking at the Sun Simulator, I'm sorry, there isn't one, and there never was. Your move.